And just to note, this book is all about the experience of mental health caring. But you can always relate it to other forms of unpaid care anyway. So it's 196 that I thought I'd start with. And this, I think it's, yeah, it's this one. This one is actually 192, it's called Are We, Are we All to Blame? So he's arguing again with me, he's arguing with me again. He says I shouldn't be involved. Medication is now all wrong. How was I to know? I know it happens, but it's such a shame. But are we all to blame? I was not trained for this. Can't understand what the doctor said. The professionals are annoyed. Says I'm wasting their time. I know it happens, but it's such a shame. But are we all to blame? My brother is now in debt. Spent all his money on gambling. He was not in the right frame of mind. The banks refused to hear. I know it happens, but it's such a shame. But are we all to blame? I've got some sad news today. My brother's gone, he's passed away. I'm left on my own. My future is not clear. What am I to do? I know it happens, but it's such a shame. But are we all to blame? Now, it's not a happy part. It's not meant to be. But the idea is to, for those who read that type of poem, get an idea of what the unpaid carer is sort of going through. If you write a book on it, well, they'll sort of understand it rather than a poem. You know, so it's debatable. I'm going to choose one question from this, then I'll do one more, then I'm going to start asking others if they've chosen what they want to read, go ahead and do it. But uh, I'm going to just open this question to the room. What could the carer learn from their carer experience in that poem? And then I can just sort of kind of anything. I mean, your carer is yourself, so this could be something you could reflect on. If, if not, if you're not sure, I could just give a quick idea. That the professionals don't always listen to you. Well, that's a good one, that's a good one. Anyone else want to add to that? I was just going to say, the set about the medication, is a kind of try and research and um, look at the side effects and things like that. Mm. So, yeah, that's that's a good one. Informed yeah. mm -hmm. choices, like informing mm -hmm. your choices. Yeah. Sometimes you have to go out and do work as well. Yeah. There's not someone that you can be signed to, so you have to go and do it yourself. Or you can't just able to hear question. Always question the advice that you're giving. That's right. Yeah. You can't take it for granted that they know your circumstances better than you as a carrier, you know your care for your circumstances. Excellent. And that's a weird one, professionals, because when, when you hear the title, you think, yeah, they're going to know everything. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that can cause a lot of issues. Because there are going to be carers out there that will listen to every word the professional says. Why does the professional say, oh, you're too involved? You, know, you need to back up a bit. Maybe they're right sometimes, not all the time. And you have to sort of look at the circumstances. Anyone else want to add anything? Yeah, I do. I think that you have to also monitor the person you're looking after yes. because yes. you can see the effects of whatever they're giving them. Yeah. And my mom, she's just been diagnosed with Alzheimer's and they gave her melanin. melanin or it's yeah, it's yeah, yeah. really important. So pay attention we'll ask a quick question. This yeah, okay. It's on the Page 54, remind me it's my right. 54? Yeah, don't lose the one you're going to read. No. Uh, you've read that one anyways. It's my right as a carer to be identified. I'm on their side. It's my right as a carer to be given respect with my well-being checked. It's my right as a carer to express my worries and tell my stories. It's my right as a carer to be encouraged to complain and point out who's to blame. It's my right as a carer to also be consulted and not be insulted. It's my right as a carer to be allowed to take time out. Do I have to scream and shout? It's my right as a carer to be at least part of the discharge plan just as soon as the plan began. It's my right as a carer not to be ignored and have my queries explored. It's my right as a carer Explain about the medication, especially on effects on causation. Mm -hmm. It's my right as a carer to get a care assistant soon or be over the moon. It's my right as a carer to know who is in the support team. I'm not asking anything extreme. Mm -hmm. I know I shouldn't have to fight, but it's just
just my tail is right. It's very poems I write. It's all in here to highlight. Just remember this poem. If you catch sight, remember your own tail is right. And if you fall from dizzy heights, please read this poem and just recite. And I'm going to ask people to, to read the poem because I'm sort of running out of time. Who's, who's first to read a poem? I then obviously ask a good question. So I think you were done. Advocacy. What, 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 what was it? Oh, page 57. Yeah. Dear Mrs. Advocate, I really need your support. The social services are failing and selling me short. If I find myself struggling to get my message across, without your help, I will suffer and end up at a loss. Please come to my careless assessment meetings. Because when the professionals are speaking, you can cut straight through that jargon. So having you, ad having you advocate will surely be a bargain. I need to understand my carers' rights because I'm fed up with getting into fights, especially with a social worker who has no time and should know better. Please help me to challenge those decisions so I don't have to follow someone else's division. I know my life just could be better when you read my plea through this letter, you see, the problem is all about communication, where it is causing me all this agitation. If you can help me with my point of view, my situation to those professionals will get through. Dear Mrs. Advocate, I really need your support. The social services are failing and selling me short. With your help, I won't be struggling to get my message across. With your help, I won't suffer and end up at a loss. That's brilliant. This is sort of a bit similar to one of them. Page 214. Can you help us? Dear Mrs. Receptionist, can you help us? I am a carer, I won't make a fuss, but can you help us? Dear care coordinator, can you help us? I am a carer, I've something to discuss, but can you help us? Dear doctor, can you help us? I am a carer, someone's mind is at a loss, but can you help us? Dear support officer, can you help us? I am a carer, your help is a plus, but can you help us? Dear Wool Pharmacist, can you help us? I am a carer, his meds need to just, but can you help us? Dear Social Worker, can you help us? I am a carer, I don't want you cuss, but can you help us? <laughs> Dear Psychiatrist, can you help us? I am a carer, but you are the boss. Can you help us? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well read. 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 Well Announce the page number so they can all follow. Page two five eight. Go ahead. Go ahead. My job is poetry. Summer. I need this lady. What are you holding? <laughs> that day, that summer day, we looked upon the sky. That day, that summer day, where hidden valley grown. That that day, that summer day, and mountains so high. That day, that summer day, and birds soar above the clouds. That day, that summer day, where grass is green and flowers grow luscious and wild. That day. Oh. 